Hi, this is Seth's Discomfort, and I'm here today to show you how to use your gravel vacuum without sucking the end tube. Okay, so first things first, obviously you need a gravel vacuum. I personally think it could be one of your best friends when it comes to the equipment you use when you clean and maintain your fish tanks. Um, I have a regular old one. You could get a Python one, which obviously has a lot less work behind it, I guess. I don't know. I don't, I've never used one. I've never even really, I haven't even seen one in real life. So, if you know someone who owns a Python and you've heard good, good reviews about it, then go ahead and get it. But for those who do it the old, old-fashioned way, then definitely watch the rest of this video. Okay, so first we want the receiving end or the exiting end tube inside of a bottle or a bucket, never been used before, clean, specifically only for your aquarium. And we need to keep that inside of that um, bucket at all times just to make sure no water spills out because once you start, water will keep on going. Um, then I have a uh, technique that I use, um, which is basically, th this whole thing is just used by gravity or, and suction via gravity. It's not that, you know, hard to understand. Um, but if you don't, basically what this is doing is, since gravity pulls things to Earth, you want the bucket or the end of the tube lower than the tank. The lower it is from the water in your tank, then the better. The faster the water will go. Come out, I should say. Um, so what I do is I fill my entire cylinder up with water inside of the aquarium. Then I raise it above the water line. And as the water is going down, right before it hits this valve, this valve mechanism right here, I'll push it right back under the water and suction will is, uh, start immediately. There's no waiting or anything. It starts immediately so you can get to, you know, vacuuming the gravel as soon as possible. Um, there's another way to do it. I don't know if it works for all gravel vacuums, but it works with mine. Um, what you do is you fill it up with water again and you turn it over while it's in the tank, still fill up with water, and you do this jerking motion back and forth. And after a few of these, it should start up. Um, but the first one I'll show you is, uh, I'll show you the one that I don't usually use first. That would be filling it up with water. Make sure most of the bubbles are out. Then you turn it over, and then you start to do this jerking motion back and forth. And as you can hear, it's going to start it. Okay, so that's one way. Uh, the second way would be, my way, I'm sure plenty, plenty of people use this way because it seems to me to be the easiest. Um, I saw another person who used their thumb on the end of the tube, but I didn't see any need for that. Um, but obviously if that works for you, fine, go right ahead. I mean, whatever works best for you, but I'm just showing to those you know, who it can help, who d just don't understand how this, this uh, tool works. So, my way is filling the cylinder up with water, pulling, now, you, it'll happen very quickly, so watch carefully. Alright, so I'll pull it above the water line, water's going down, it's almost to the bottom, and then we pull it back under. Oh, and actually that time it didn't work. Would have known. Anyway, start again. Fill up with water. Going down, going down. And there we go. See, I waited a little too long. If you wait too long, this is a prime example. If you wait too long, and almost like the water is already starting to go down to the point where the mechanism is in the air, then you have to try again because once it, touch, it touches the air, there's 
nothing else for it to suck, so the suction just stops completely. Um, so, yeah, this is how you do it. And when you're gravel vacuuming, a couple tips. Um, you don't have to get everywhere and ev anywhere and everywhere ev every time. You can switch it up. Um, most of the time I just do the main areas that are clear, like there's no decorations of plants around it, and then I do a deep cleaning because we all know that poop lies in mysterious places. Um, but yeah, uh, I just get the little odd ends of poop here and there, and I recently just cleaned the crank, but so I don't really need to do too much.